Hi, Adam. Hi. Hi, Christina. How's it going? Well, I'm fine. Oh, how, much, how many of my pictures are there? Yeah, I put all your pictures up here. <laughs> What you chose um because you sent me a few but i had a look on your uh on one of your instagram accounts so i hope that's all right is it okay with you everything is okay with me oh, but i can hear you well ah. mm -hmm. yes i'm now i'm studying some projects some visual projects uh illustration and i'm going to to work in a in a great studio here in Seville, in a studio in a yes in a graphic design studio and i'm very fine yeah. oh brilliant okay so is this a new project christina is this a new uh, a new job you're saying you're about to start or is that what you're have you been there for a while Yes, I I I've been there for for a while uh, during six months. For, oh, okay. For instance, um, but at the same time, excuse my English, but I haven't slept any any in whole night because I have some delivery things. Oh, uh, oh some today. deadlines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today oh, we're right. <laughs> right, okay. Well. So mm, my English isn't well at all. Your English is a lot yeah. better than my Spanish. <laughs> I always I always I'm so um humbled when when people tell me how bad their English is because I think you, you're speaking to me and uh, quite probably a lot of us English are very um just really lucky because every time anyone says that we we're all inside we're all thinking you know I don't know any of your language at all or well, if they're not thinking that they should be um, but I, but what's so wonderful is actually having a look at your, I was having a look at your designs just before we, before the, the interview, because we know each other, because we did some vocal coaching, didn't we, last, uh, last what was it this, uh, the time, the years the, ago. COVID twilight zone, it was last year, wasn't it? <laughs> it was last years year. years ago, I think uh, it was. Huh? No, that our vocal coaching was... Mm -hmm. Two years ago. I oh think. my goodness! Well, it was certainly an, it was certainly <laughs> quite a long time ago, and um, similar yes. to quite a few other people that I've already interviewed, it's really fantastic to have a look at your designs because several people like yourself have got you know it just blows me away because there's multi multi talented and I and I just think it's fantastic because I knew you through singing and your voice. I know that's a real passion of yours. And then I was just looking. Oh, and, and you told me you're a graphic designer, but I didn't look at them at the time. I don't think because uh, we we're focusing on the singing so I was having a look um today and they're really fantastic quite really, oh thank you very much yeah really <laughs> unique much. design I got a real sense of artistry from what you from what I saw actually I mean I don't know I really want to talk about both music and graphic design at the same time so I've got that overload of, yes, of excitement <laughs> because I because I because I just really was just reacting to your um images and then just as i was doing that I was kind of forgetting yes i know but i know you because we would we spent time really having a nice you know singing and going through music together so it's really exciting to to um find out so yeah tell us i don't know where where would you like to start because well, we'll be chatting about your latest project or would you which would you like to start with because i think i i think it would be great to talk about both do you want to talk a bit about your music which would you prefer to start with well, uh, my music now, by now is a little, a little stop because because I have to prepare, prepare, to prepare myself. Yes, to to the go deadline. out to the professional, to the professional world, to the to the art, prof mm -hmm. the professional art world because I want to make some exhibitions and to sell my my paintings and my pictures and probably if i can publish some books some a book <laughs> and i want to to do all 
at the same time, but I can't. I no, can't. it wouldn't it be fantastic if we could do it all at the same time, but absolutely we can't do it all at the same time. And, and it's really, it's, it, I've, I just realized I was in a little, all, um, much as I don't mind um, not being center stage at all, that's not what this interview is about. I thought it might be nicer to get the value, value, uh, gallery view going. And yeah, you can see, can see your um, graphic design more, but that's really brilliant to hear that you're that you are because that you are wanting to focus on an exhibition as well as your graphic design. Obviously, you said you were working in house for a particular company, presumably, because when I looked was looking at your graphic design, I got a real sense of artistry from your work. I got I really it's not actually a surprise because I know some people in the same way that they do in music. They work we 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 work in our craft. We work with our talent and and. Um, plenty of my friends and myself included we really enjoy sessions similar to you with your graphic design um having said that like i said i got a real sense of artistry like you doing your own thing from looking at them there's a real strong kind of identity um of your own with your work so it's it's brilliant to hear that you are preparing for an exhibition so do you want to yeah. tell us a bit about the exhibition if you've got a kind of theme what your focus is for the for your exhibition that you're uh, nowadays, I don't know, because I'm looking for a place to do it first. Okay. But, but I have mm, some projects, not, not focused at all, but, but I have ideas, uh, thousands of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Too much ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that's great it's but, great that it's that way round christina much better to have too many ideas than too few ideas <laughs> having said that it can feel too much can't it when we when there's a lot of a, a lot of ideas floating around tell us about this this one I, I'll, I'll do my usual get out of the way and you probably see although i don't know whether it'll you probably see the side of my mirror there i think i'm kind of spoiling it i'll come back in um yeah but i yeah i looked at a lot of them so what um there's there is a kind of caricature and there seemed i get a lot of humor from your work um what yes. what what is important to you in your when you when you're doing your graphic design does it does it if we talk about your own artistry rather than say when you're doing a commission what what kind of themes and what kind of things do you like to explore because obviously these are all portraits for a start well uh I I almost do um, apart from design and illustration, I do editorial editorial design. Digital design. I do yes. Uh, I do books uh, like this. Oh. I design all, all inside the book. I made it. <gasps> uh, yes. And I, I like to do um, a corporative image, uh, logo types. Um, oh, logo branding. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, branding. Yes, yes. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> and I love lettering. I, I so much, th so many things. I love. Um, I almost do. Oh, se me olvidó la palabra. Um, excuse me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to search it in the dictionary. Uh, oh, that's okay. But I, yeah, I mean, I, I love these. Are these people you know? Where do you get your ideas from for your images? Hmm from imagination and so sometimes a word can inspire me a word only uh, the latest um, post i have uh, on instagram uh, where for inktober uh, inktober is um uh, is uh, um you're most recent Mm -hmm. yeah. Some someone gives a list and you have to do one draw at a day in mm -hmm. ink. In pink. In in ink. ink. 
<laughs> Only it, ink. Ink, ink like not paper. Any, any, any time of ink. <laughs> okay. Any um, type of ink. Yeah, and let's have yeah. a look because that, um, I'm just going to move, let's just move a couple of things out the way. And I'm going to try, uh, I'm just going to, just give me one minute. I'm going to share the screen. And then that might that could be a good way to chat about your work. I think let's have a let's have a go because I did get um, yeah because I I got a, a few. So you've got a few Instagram pages. Which one would you like us to look at? The um, ex is it Bustamante? How do you pronounce your surname? Bustamante. Bustamante is my name. Bustamante. Yeah. Do you want to look at the Trapitos and Rock or Bustamante one? Well. Trapitos and Rock is a collaboration I do with a friend, with my friend Gloria. Should we look at Busta, your, your own account first then? Is that okay? Uh, uh, we, we can see. Have a look, well, yeah. I can, <laughs> here it is. Can you see? Yes. Is yes, it okay yes. to, to, yeah. So is one of the, is one of the projects you're doing on here? Yes, from the October of this year. Which one is it all of them or is, you said is it for a particular the, project? The oldest, the oldest is, is the stars, are the stars. Okay, the stars. So this well, is, I, I can see them here, uh, Christina. Yes. I, I, I can see them there. I just, um, mm -hmm. so what, what's this project? Estrella. It's for, uh, it's for, um, Christmas. Uh, Christmas uh, cards. It's a, it's a, a, a Christmas card, yes. Oh, for okay. a, club, a commission, for a commission that... Uh, uh -huh. So that's for a Christmas have, card commission. Yes, yes. And is this more to do, is this one more like one that you would be doing for an exhibition, for example? Is this more your own it, work or is this for a commission? Oh. No, no, it's my own work. Uh -huh. It's my own work. Mm. Oh, excuse me, the light. Ah. That's okay. Uh, I, I can see a clear, yeah, um, I can see a, quite a clear, as I said, identity in what seems to be your own work. Some of these, uh, yeah, so uh, with this one, um, I mean, because you used the ink as well, uh, there's a few like this on a similar theme. Is this one that you would consider for an exhibition? Let's just have a look at a few more. I'll just... I'll just um, focus a few more because these are all on your own page. There's a few in yes. this in this kind of what's going on with these ones? Are these of a similar kind of uh, thought process for you? These ones, which are the um, yeah the women with with uh, there's a few more like this. Oh, wait a minute, we now have only what's happened there. This is a photo of my my father and I. When ah. I was a child. Oh, okay. Yes, well, let me, let's I. start there. You can tell us a little bit about your your background if you'd like to. <laughs> was your father was your father in um, is was he creative as well? Was it in the family? Um, my father died when I was fifteen. Oh. Yes, but he was very very important for me for my my art uh, my taste of art. Oh. It's very important, yes. Mm -hmm. And my mother also, oh. because she draws, or she paints, she, she's an artist also. Yes. Okay, so very, an artistic family, both, both of you. Yes, uh -huh. my, my sister, my sister too, is an artist, an artist too, <laughs> yes. Okay, everybody, everyone in the family. Everybody. Oh. Yeah, that must have been yes. one, wonderful to be in that environment growing up. Yes, yes. Mm. You, yes. You brought up, did, were you brought up in Seville, Christina? Yes, I grew up in Seville, yes. Uh -huh. And so were there quite a lot of, um, was there quite a lot of art in the, in the house? What were your influences that inspired you? Yes, uh, in your my father's house there's work. a lot of, uh, my, there's a lot of art in my house. My 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 bedroom <laughs> is example. We haven't any piece of wall free. <laughs> uh, but I love uh, many kinds of art. I love pop art. 
I love uh, Liechtenstein and the Warhol. I love very much Yuku um, Simishu. Is is an artist, uh, a Japanese artist. Okay. Uh, and if, is this is lot, this part? I have very very a uh, lot of of influences, uh -huh. different influences. And so, which which ones would you say have? Um, if we look at from the some of the people that you've said, um, which art do you feel uh, which has influenced some of these photo of some of these um, images? I don't know. I think it's a mix mixture. Of, of them all. Yeah, uh -huh. a yes. mixture. Yes. So I mean, I do get a sense, unless I'm just honing in on certain ones. I I get a sense. Uh, are some of them kind of self portraits? In a way, uh, I I had only one self portrait. Oh, only one. Is only that on one. the page, Christina? No, it it isn't. Oh, oh. No, yes, yes, it is. But but it's older. Oh, it's further it's back. Much older. But, oh, okay. So I think it must be. It can be. Um, no, I haven't. Yeah, that's okay. Well, there's there's plenty here, Christina. So when you said your um your parents were an influence, what kind of art was up on the walls? Uh, what was your father? Did he? You said he painted as well. So yeah, what my, was... my father d didn't paint, but oh. he loves art. He loves oh, to to go to exhibitions here in Seville. Um, there is a lot of of uh, um, classic art, Murillo, uh, Velázquez, classic art, Spanish classic art. There's mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. church. So you, so you was yeah. had a, you had a lot of um, a lot of opportunity to uh, to to immerse yourself in lots of different um, different art growing up. Yes. Uh, Yes, and so, and so, so, was there music in your house as well? Yes, a lot. <laughs> so, what, what did you? Lot. When did you first start? Which, which kind of talk about both together? Because I remember when I was vocal coaching you, you said that you, um, you, you've been in lots of bands in the past. So, what was your? Yes. Yeah. I was uh, when I was uh, twenty-two. I, became, I began to, to sing in a band uh, they call Harlem and I was a uh, vocal background. Yes. And then two years before, after, <laughs> sometimes I miss. That's okay. Um, I, I, I made a, I, I had a band of soul. They named soul, soul mama. Mm -hmm. And we've been playing together um, for six years. Around Seville, oh, all yes. over the place, in all around in, Spain, many Seville. In Spain, we we'll, we we'll, we'll, we'll made we made a, a trip all over Spain. In oh, Valencia. nice! Yes, Madrid. Um, yes, uh, Andalusia, most mm -hmm. mostly. Mm -hmm. Yes, Cadiz, Huelva, mm -hmm. Jaén. <laughs> we sat. What were you? What were you doing when we were doing the the coaching? I remember Mercedes Benz, and because you got a lot of influences there as well. The same way that you do with your. Well, I mean, any if you're often with your creative, then you then you try and you, you are interested in. I'm. I'm. Lots of us are the same that we're interested in so many things. I remember we did. What were your song choices? We did Mercedes Benz, and then you said you like. Suede. I'm just trying to think what your was it. Suede? Yes, but but my but, but I love the most Duran Duran. Eh? <laughs> yes, I've got a lot of the my band <laughs> is Duran Duran. Eh? Hmm. Well, they're brilliant. From, you know, I love I love them from as well. Nine years old. Eh? Fourteen years. Mm -hmm. Forty years. 
following Duran Duran. Mm, with mm. good reason. They write great songs. They're a great band. It's not just because I work with them. As a musician, I love working with them because they, they're such a musical band and they have a sense of style and like they, they probably appeal to your graphic design sense as well. The way that they, uh, the way that they, um, that they, uh, identify the way that they change their styles and their kind of yeah, um, the most uh, they kind of embrace the most innovative uh, pop art going. You know they have the the um, oh I don't know what he was called but they use that uh, some robotic uh, per, robotic feature for the mo yes. their most recent. Uh, what did you think of that? Well, uh, yeah, this invisible video. Did you see the invisible video? Oh, I, I love it. But Isn't it brilliant? I, I, yes, it's 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 very interesting the images that 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 they used. But I I would I I love. I cannot miss Sally. <laughs> I can't speak. No, it's, it's okay. You, actually, you don't have to speak. We can just keep looking at your... I'd be more than happy just to keep strolling through yes, your work. Yes, yes, yes. Because you say so much. Now because I'm so sleepy. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, but but I love to see them. I, 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 I rather the videos that, 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 they, that they protagonize. The... The, um, no, the older ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share your screen again. This is a really nice um, opportunity to just be really chilled <laughs> and not uh, and just and just enjoy your um, your work. Who needs to chat anyway? Yes. When you say so much without. I, like I know it sounds a bit the, of a cliche, the, but it's true. That's. I'm just going. What I meant. What I meant is that I like more the videos where they appear. Oh, that they're <laughs> <laughs> that they're that they invisible. In. It's a great song. I love it. I love the the all the album, whole the album. Mm -hmm. But you'd like to see more of them. Oh, I love. Yes, but we're not uh, here yes, to talk. I I love you. I love I'm, how much you love them, but I'm. I want to focus on you a bit more. We um for the for this because this because you have so much art in your veins and your yes. blood, whether yes. it's through music and wh or whether it's through your design. And I I'm gonna let's try sharing your other the um the other screen now because this is this is tell us a bit about this project. This is Trapitos. Is that correct? Trapitos and Rock. Trapitos and Rock, yes. Uh -huh. It's a so blog it's... that writes out. No, no, that's not it. Hang on a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Gloria. That's right. yes, it's yes. going to come back there because it seems to have gone away. Let's try and find it again. I did press it on, but it seems to have gone to the other one. I don't understand why. Um, yes. mm, yeah, this is your other one. It doesn't seem to want to go to the to the other I, one. I Just have that I one more go with, if I close the other one. Huh? I collaborate with her, but I'm I'm not Trapitas and Rock. Trapitas and Rock is my friend Gloria, who writes in a blog, uh, writes uh, music, mm, fashion oh, and uh, mus fashion and music blog. Okay, yes. because you've got that link in your um, bio. Yes, because because I do the designs. Of oh, the t-shirts and the and the bags that we sell, yes. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe we will have a quick look, although it's not your page. But we'll try once more and see if we. Oh, now it seems to have just decided to go completely. I mean, well, that's that's something that wow. people can. That's right. That's, that's right. something that can. That's matter. something that people can find if they want to have a look because you did the designs and that speaks of your commissions. But we, I think, um, it was great to have a look at your Instagram designs because that's your stuff anyway. Um, so you said you're interested in in um, in exhibitions in the future, although it's not really. Yes quite kind of quite where you're at. So what is, what would you say? Um, yeah, I, I kind of want to explore a little bit more your, um, 
You might not have because you've got lots of ideas around your exhibitions. But if yeah. you were going to brainstorm, if you were going to think about something that you definitely would want to represent in one thing, I know there'll be lots of things, but one theme, if you had to think of one theme that would be important to you, that you that you would like to represent in your exhibitions, given that you have you clearly do so much, what would you what do you think that would be? If you just had to choose one, I'm sure there's quite a few. I think uh, it would be um, a, a spiritual communication. Yes, yes. Uh, the emotions that one that one can feel, the em deeply emotions, uh, but not not the good emotions. Well, they are all good, but. Uh, loneliness, sadness, these kind of things interest me so much because I think they they do us grow up. They they help to 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 grow, us to grow. Yeah, I, I oh, that, that's, that's fascinating because it's yes, it's very easy in society to focus on positivity all the time, and as you say, um, our isolation and feelings of as you said whether it, whether it's loneliness or sadness this can be there can be uh, there can be a kind of almost uh either a non-acceptance or a taboo or somehow that this is these are feelings that we need to um we need to transform need instantly to, whereas absolutely. there's such, as you said there's such we a we need science. to pass through to, to mm. grow we well, to... well, actually, yeah, that's that's exactly that's the reframing of what I just said, but 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 actually reframing it. But but we, we do we do need to look at it, and it's also and not to be scared of those feelings because everybody no. has everybody has them, and so have you. Um, have you had and all both... and all of them are beautiful. Yeah, all of them are beautiful, or I have they sense. Mm. Um, my my own story uh, i passed through a big depression and when i when when i held it uh, i began to know what things i love like drawing like graphic design i i were graphic designer um, before but but i i just decided Mm, after what I wanted to be in life. Through having those that period of time where you were uh, depressed, to put it yes. frankly. Yes. Because mm, there, there can be a lot of contemplation, can be your, like you said, your spiritual way or your emotional part of yourself um, prioritizing for you not your head it can be your something greater than that decide saying well you know hang on we need to stop now and we need to look mm -hmm. at why you're not feeling aligned and why things aren't feeling purposeful for you so it can be your yeah your emotional um priorities uh really guiding you to to stop yes. and to to be in it <laughs> yes. Even though I'm smiling, also, but even though it doesn't feel absolutely yes, yes. But it does, no. but, and, and that's way in that way it's fascin it is fascinating. It might not feel fascinating when you're in it, but I can see why it's such an interesting um, subject matter for for art. And of course, it's uh, whether it's graphic design or whether it's music or whether it's um, all sorts of other artistic mediums. It's a very well um, well uh, used it's a therapy. Also, mm -hmm. it's a good, yes. it's a very good therapy. Absolutely, yes. and some of some of the best art comes from that. Yes. I'm wondering if there's any examples that you have of your work where you feel. I think some of those images, perhaps at the beginning that I showed of the Instagram page, which were uh, they weren't self-portrait, but they had there were images with lots of either under the sea. I don't know. Under, under the me, sea, an image under the sea or um, of a figure, but then underwater and all of these kind of things. Maybe they spoke yes. to those feelings. Yeah, yes. they spoke to those feelings of overwhelm and of sadness and of uh, all of yes. these emotions. Mm -hmm. the, the mermaid, the mermaid pictures, 
I'm from from also a um, lo diré un reto ¿cómo se dice reto? <laughs> un momento perdona excuse me uh, okay do you have any do you have any it's a challenge it's, it's an Instagram challenge in May you have to draw mermaids in October you have to draw a picture for a day in ink in ink, oh, in ink. yes they are challenges but uh, th that's true that that mm, there is a uh, impression of uh, how you are mm -hmm. mm, it's true uh, uh -huh. yes Oh, you think a part of yourself, well, inescapably, in a way, a part of yourself is always in your work, even, of course it yes. is, even if it's in your inner commission, uh, unless you're, um, yeah, because it's your style and it's your, that comes through and it's presumably part of the reason why, why people choose you for commissions in the first place. Having said that, there can be um, the the obligation to try and be a chameleon you do get do get people that do sessions and do uh, whether it's sessions or whether it's um whether it's commissions where you have to be a bit of a chameleon where you have to inhabit different roles but perhaps that's an earlier time uh, in your uh, uh, in your artistic uh, experience uh, oh i've noticed i've noticed that you're uh, yeah you're the fruit the the screen has frozen, so I'll just press pause and yeah. <laughs> yes. you come back again. It, it froze a little, it just froze for a minute there. Um, you said, yeah, so that's part of an Instagram challenge. I'm just trying to think, have you got examples of of the work that you feel um, explores those emotions that you're interested in that are the, um, that you said are the, that can be the isolation and the- Yes, I have. The, yeah, let's have a look at that. Uh, I I made a um I made a project at school, but I I I had to share the 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 screen. But this one, this picture is an example of this. Yeah, well, that's exactly the one I was looking for. Yeah. And and what what have you what are your um creative influences in that because i can see the do you want to do you want to tell us a bit about that painting yes i love comic also i love um uh, tales book of tales children books ah. album books i love it i i, I love also um, uh, I love um, sketching. I love many, many kinds oh, sketching. of art. Mm -hmm. But in, interesting, yes. that, interesting that you say a comic and fairy tales. So what is it about uh, the tragedy and the, the comic the, that you like together? I love a uh, comic that I, I Wait, when you said the a Spanish a Spanish comic that well was said uh -huh. and this word I her word I see a squad is a Spanish a Spanish a Spanish okay. comic. But if we're if we're For talking example, about the the last the last painting that you showed us uh Christina, the, 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 yes. I, it looked a little bit because it looked a bit like um, you the influence of a comic. Yes, yes. Yes. So what I'm asking is, what is it about the combination of the tragedy of the heartbreak and the yes. comic book? What is it about the combination that you like together? I think that you can choose the style and it doesn't matter the style to to express to yourself. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You can use different um, colored cards or a style um, to 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 say what you want. Mm, I see the language. The language it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So it's or it's more it kind of natural. It's more that you're naturally influenced about by um, comics. 
because you like the style of comics. Yes, I love it. Uh huh. I see. So, so it can be. So it. it I love sixty sixties, sixties uh, and 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 seventies ages. Comics. The aesthetic, comics and uh, magazines and photos. Uh, okay. Pictures, music. I love it. Okay, because actually, um, some of these images here. Yeah. Some of these images here have a bit. This lady here looks a little bit sixties. Can you see in the that looks a little bit sixties? And this, yes. uh, yeah. So I, I, I think I've seen a few others in. Um, I wish I had your Instagram page up now, but I've, um, but I've, uh, I closed it. Let me see if I can find it again. I'm back on your. Uh, it was. It's X. What's the name of your Insta Instagram page? The X X Boost Room is is a little bit difficult, but I can change it because how do you spell I, it? X B U S T R U N mm. because my name is Cristina Bustamante Runde, and it's a combination of all I'm of all the words. <laughs> Yes, but it's a little bit difficult to remember. It's not not good. Is it isn't a good branding? <laughs> no, oh, I mean I, that's yes, that's something that I guess if you do graphic design, if you do design for for projects, then you then you would uh, you'd have an opinion on that for sure. I'm just I'm, I'm trying to find it again because I I think this might be it. Let's cross fingers. Yes, it is. All right, so I'm just gonna. Oh, have I got rid of it again? Oh, I've managed to get rid of it. Let's just get it back again. There we are. Um, so that is, oh yeah. It was, yeah, let's just see. So X Bustron, wasn't it? Bustron, X Bustron. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Bustron. Yes, yes. All right. So I'm just going to try and get that up yes. once. Let's see if we can, there we go. Uh, because I just want to, um, just want to have a chat a little bit more about any of the other ones that um, we did a little bit before. So you were talking about the 60s and 70s. So if we yes. scroll down here, I'm just wondering where that's, you've got the, the comic. Yeah, now I'm seeing the comic. Is this like a comic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's happening here? Oh, it's a poor woman that can't speak and always, always listening to others. Too much information. <laughs> so it has a so it has a humor, but it has and the comic element. But the but the actual point is um, is really quite uh, like a lot of. Um, a lot of feeling, like you said, a lot of emotion, and it's not a comic. Uh, the idea behind it is not funny. Yes, it's not funny. Uh, well, no, I'm just saying it's a woman that's not that isn't being heard, right? Yes. So the the actual thought behind it isn't isn't funny, is it? Because it's it's a uh, yeah. But the oh, so here again, this is in line with your your yes. interest in um in the tragic and the and and um having pain as being a being an influence um this looks a bit 60s this one yes <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of um twiggy you know remember twiggy ah uh, yes i love i love it <laughs> i i was not i was mod. I, in the at the 90s i was mod. do you know mods quadrophenia oh, mod. um, Yes, I was mod. Oh, you were a mod. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just remember it like from Quadrophenia, the mods and the rockers. What was the philosophy yes. behind being a mod? Was it like um was it was it before punk? Was it closer to punk? Yes. What yes. becomes before punk in terms of rebellious? Yes, yes. Um uh, but here in Spain, uh, we we understand it on in other ways also is the love of the of the um, 60 ages 
Ah, the um, time, the lo love of the six. Yes, um, yes, Victoria, yes. And what about this one? I can't resist. This one is very interesting. Yes, it's um editorial illustration that I did for a, a project for a course. Yes, and the and the article was for the um about the um, how uh, humans uh, use more machines to have relationships. Oh, okay. That that is yes. A, Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Mm, that's not a similar theme, I think, to have you seen the film Her? Yes, I, I saw it. I saw it. That yes, was yes. a brilliant Sorry. film, wasn't it? Don't you think? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a similar, similar theme. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stop that. But this really, I mean, this, uh, the, the images speak for themselves. We didn't really have to say anything. I could have just happily scrolled down your Instagram page. And, um, but obviously, uh, oh, it's, 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 it's brilliant. What, what you did say um, was, uh, was wonderful talking about your, your influences and, and not being afraid to, to, um, to explore pain and, and isolation as a, and, and it's not a, um, these are not emotions that, uh, that, that we can take lightly. And it's, it's not uncommon that, um, that creatives have experienced, experienced these very profound and really unsettling and, um, distressing emotions. And it can be, it can be very much part of the human condition, let alone creativity. Um, and thanks for yes. being so open about sharing your own experience of um, having of of having experienced depression yourself, and how that um, and how you don't run away from that as a uh, as a source uh, as a source of um, inspiration in your work. But but not just that, but how you how you how you kind of embrace it really, rather than um, th trivialize it. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, it's the be best songs and best poems, they born from uh, pain. Mm. They, they can, they can be. Having said that, I like, I like some cheesy songs as well that haven't got any pain in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but we, we have to, to, to pass through and leave it. Yes, yes. And we see life on in, in other ways. Thank you so ways. much. Thank you so much because it's that's a well. Thank and thank you so much for for um, having a chat today about all your all your work. Um, and yes, the the passing through. It's in the passing through rather than running around the side. <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to go through not around or backwards yes yes through. yeah but no run around no. no 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 even though it might feel horribly uncomfortable so thank you thank you so much it's in it's in the well well thank you for um for so spending lost, time today i lost you anna oh, i you, thank you oh thank you all right you you've lost for connection inviting me it's a pleasure. <laughs> okay. All right. See, yes, see you again, Chris. A little bit, but no, it's okay. Oh, okay. What, what well, well, I I am going to Ibiza. I'm going to Ibiza, and I want to see you there. <laughs> I'll see you there. Meantime, I'll be looking out for your art and your exhibition. This is about you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All the best, Christina. All the best. Bye. Anna. So glad to hear you. Yeah, to you see too, you. Christina. Bye. Bye.